There's a lot of people that care about Nuremberg. Unfortunately, the newspaper, they, they don't show those love. They only show the negative. I think if people keep an open mind and not listen to um, all the negativity that some people might put, perspective that they might put on, on Newburgh, and just come out here to see that there's a, there's a lot of beautiful things, a lot of beautiful children here trying to be positive. Cafe Macchiato with my husband Edwin Simo. We opened the cafe about nine years ago and uh, we come to New World hoping for a better life for me, my husband and my daughter. But things don't change here, go down and down and down and uh, we ready to close the business next year. There are a lot of people that care and we need help. We cannot do it by ourselves. The politicians need to step in and give us a hand. Paulita se llama la mamá de mi esposo. Por eso fue que le puso Paulitas Marca. Es un negocio de verduras y frutas y grocery. Bueno, nosotros empezamos desde abajo, teniendo nada. Pues vendía tamales y levantaba potes. <risa> Entonces, poco a poco nosotros nos fuimos superando, gracias a la, a la, a la gente que nos ha llegado a, como a, a hacer las compras, nos hemos superado poco a poco. Here in my shop, we do uh, global fair trade and local handmade items. I've been here 10, 10 years in this shop and, uh, you know, fell in love with the area. You know, to me it was like Soho on the Hudson. In those days we had sex industry workers and pharmaceutical sales representatives, also known as drug dealers. <laughs> But as you can see, the area is cleaned up nicely. We now have a couple of great restaurants and other shops. And, you know, we're just encouraging people to, to come and, and, and feel, catch the spirit of it, you know? Well, I've been on the other side of town for 26 years. And I wanted to move into Liberty Street because it was getting to be so vibrant. Hello, Walter. <laughs> yes, it's a Walter Bird. Well, there are a lot more stores in this area now. It's a, a very friendly place to work. We all seem to know each other, and uh, it's, it's sort of like a small family, which makes it really neat. I like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. My Probably my favorite thing is the food around Newberry, but like that's kind of my favorite thing most places I go. Tells me it was delicious. And there's like Pete's Hot Dogs, which is another like amazing oh. place. Pete's Hot Dog has been here since uh, man the 1930s, 1940s. It's a very quaint little lunch place. It's one of the oldest lunch places in Newburgh. Thank you. Here you go. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your week. That's good. They have the best hot dogs anywhere. They're friendliest people behind the counter. And I don't care who you are in the area. Everybody's heard of Pete's Hot Dog. It was a retirement project. We're both retired uh, educators. He was a high school principal. I was an elementary teacher. And we love film. So we kind of put it all together and said this would be a great way to still reach out to people, not lose touch with people, and that's what we did. What is one hope that you have for the city of Newburgh? Just to realize its own potential. These people are doing the right thing. For example, the Hudson Valley renegades are here teaching the kids how to play baseball. They're from across the bridge, but they're coming over here, you know, because they know the situation in Newburgh.
Uh, I work with the Hudson Valley Renegades. We're a professional baseball team uh, in Fishkill. I uh, myself am a former Major League Baseball player. I, uh, I grew up a lot in, in Newburgh in the summertime uh, in, the, in, the, in the rec, on the rec of basketball courts, and I've uh, been very involved in Newburgh throughout my life. So. The indoor soccer and multi-purpose facility in here at the Armory is gorgeous. I mean, it's architecturally, it's it's got it's such a nice feature with the exposed brick, the American flag. Mm -hmm. Most most NFL or Major League uh, sports teams don't have a turf like they call it a turfus. Isn't as nice as this. I mean, it, this is absolutely gorgeous. As gorgeous as plastic and crushed rubber could be. <laughs> it's, it's a very, it's a perfect place to, for kids to play. I like to bring my son every Saturday to have fun here, and uh, it's a good exercise for him also. There's a lot in place for a, a veneration of Newburgh, but it takes time and it takes an effort to push through some of the difficulties that, that we have right now. We try to, our best to recycle donated items that come from the larger community of the greater Newburgh area and sell them to the public. The proceeds all go back into building homes for Habitat for Humanity. This is one of my favorite stores. I always find something here. I live up in the Heights, at the Heights of Newburgh, and I've been in the city of Newburgh for 43 years. And do you know a little bit about what Habitat has done? Do you know that? Oh yes, Habitat done so much for Newburgh, and um, I'm glad that I see Newburgh growing up a little bit. And seeing people take pride in, uh, in the Hudson Valley and in Newburgh, because it really has been such a pinnacle part of our nation's history. And I'm filming some old stuff that we never seen before. Just give it a little more sky. A little more sky. Zoom up. Yeah, tilt up. Right about there. Just hold up there for a second. You get that beautiful ambient between nature and human architecture. Newburgh is known to be a city of churches. There were at one point a couple hundred churches. We have people from all walks of life that come in, all nationalities, all ages, and people from far and near come see and worship with us. Our one memorable moment I have is one Friday night we had service and we had um, a young man that was walking past and heard our music and heard us worship and, and praising God. And after standing in the doorway for like 30 minutes, he actually came in and started worshiping with us. And that was amazing. That was awesome. I like coming down here because I like to get away and be by myself, you know, come down and get my hair straight, do a lot of thinking, you know, figure out my week, make my plans. and. I come down here, you know, stay away from up there, you know, so I hang up there all day long, you know, middle of the day, you want to start drinking, you know, it's really nothing to do, so that's the first thing you really wind up doing is picking up a bottle and trying to stay away from that, you know, I'm a recovering drug addict, so I'm trying to, you know, get myself back together. Well, today, right now, the consulate from Mexico are here helping people fill out applications for their passports. And, you know, I'm just here trying to organize with people, helping them fill out applications, answer any questions that they have. And I'm here with my father also. He's also helping out with Hermanos Unidos. And right here, we're just helping people out. I mean, they only come here once a year. So this is important because a lot of people here, they seek documents so that later on, you know, they can see if they are eligible for applying for any immigration status. So that's why they're here with the hopes of getting any documents. Why do you work? Why do you think the consulate comes to towns like these? Well, I, I honestly feel my perspective that since Newbury is such a forgotten town, that there's thousands of people here, families that live here, that their dreams are just shattered, that they're just forgotten by the government. And that's why I feel like 
they, the concept truly cares about people who are just hidden behind the shadows. Eh, yo llegué a Newburgh por casualidad, pero hay una expresión en hebreo, pejur. Nada es casualidad. Todo es destino de Dios. Y fue el destino de Dios que yo llegara aquí a Newburgh. En un momento muy difícil en mi vida personal, llegué aquí. Y recuerdo que el día que fui a la entrevista para la plaza, llegué temprano porque no quería perderme y eh, Fui por Broadway y vi las bodegas y demás. Y en la entrevista, después que terminó la entrevista, me dijeron, oye, ¿y tú has visto la ciudad de Newburgh? Yo dije, sí, estoy tan emocionada. Hay gente de piel canela, hay bodegas, hay lugares de comida latina y yo estoy emocionada. Así fue que llegué. Y luego llegué a conocer una comunidad tan linda. Eh, tan acogedora, tan simpática, que me echaron los brazos y me dijeron, aquí estamos. enthusiasm from its inhabitants and if we could channel all of that I think we'd have a great city so we just have to find good directions to go in project was amazing. It was the opportunity to go out there and see the different types of people that live in the community and the people that make the heartbeat of Newburgh.